I'm going to describe uh, this uh, Excel homework problem that I want you all to work on. And um, I think it's uh, pretty straightforward and shouldn't take you too long. But, um, you know, like anything, if you don't exactly understand how to do it, it can seem like it's the most difficult problem in the world. So I'm going to describe some of the issues here. And uh, I want you to figure out, though, some of the things that you may not know immediately. And this may not be the way that you're used to doing uh, homework or any kind of other problems in school. But part of what I'm looking to develop is the ability to find solutions to problems that you may not have confronted before. So let's see how this is going to work. So what I am showing here is the Excel spreadsheet that I want you to develop. And so let's look at this. Down column A in this sheet, I want you to put values for x, the uh, independent variable. So start off at x equals 0, 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and so on, all the way down, and go up to about uh, uh, one and a half, two, or even higher. This is as far as I go right here, so about 1.75 is where I went right here. Now, um, then in column B, I want you to take whatever the value is in the adjacent cell in column A and square it. So 0 squared is 0, 0 0.1 squared is 0 0.01, and so on. So square it and go all the way down. Now what I'm going to want you to do is to uh, do a graph, a plot of the, the, the curve that you so produce. If this is x, and this is y equals x squared, okay, so how do you produce that plot? And then and when you produce the plot, what I'm also uh, going to want you to do is fill in some uh, text here. Uh, put the x-axis, label this the x-axis here. Here I've labeled this y equals x squared as sort of the title for the graph. Uh, now, how do you put in the, uh, the equation for the, for the line? And one way of doing that is to right click on the data here and then it uh, uh, gives you uh, options for filling in the information for the trend line here. So I click on this um, and uh, I, I have these trend line options that show up here. And I pick polynomial, display equation on the chart, which is how the equation gets here. So that's how I do that right there. Um, it uh, might take you a little bit because uh, the first time I did it, it took me a little bit to figure out how to write x squared like this right in here. And uh, I do that by using the formatting the cell option uh, up here from the, uh, from the ribbon and or the menus that I have up here. I want to format the cell and um, so uh, there are some things here that you might need to try to figure out how to do. So here is uh, the problem. So column A we put in the x values, column B we put in uh, x squared. Uh, so we do that graph, show the equation of the curve on the graph, and then label the graph simply like this. So um, a lot of things you find on, uh, in, in Excel and other software by right clicking. So uh, don't underestimate the power of doing a right click to figure out how to do something. Notice here, by the way, if I right click the chart area, okay, I get this thing right here, format plot area, select, and so on. If I click on, right click right on this, it gives me a whole nother set of menu items to select from. 
So where I right click gives me a, a, a different set of menu items. Okay, so it's context dependent menu items. Notice if I right click up here, I don't get much of anything. I have to unright click before the menu comes up for some reason. So right clicking here, the menu comes up. Right clicking here, nothing comes up until I release it. Uh, I, I can also go up here, right click, okay, and some things come up. So that is all I want to say about this homework problem. Good luck on doing it. And um, one other thing is, I've, is I always tell my students, don't underestimate the value of Googling something when you don't know how to do it. And I uh, actually have found uh, going into YouTube and then putting my question in YouTube. So if I have a question about Excel, go into YouTube, type it, and almost always a small number of videos comes up uh, and some of them will describe exactly what it is I'm trying to do. So YouTube, Google are your best friends and, uh, and use them. Okay, so with that, uh, that's the end of my description of this problem.